Hello Scorpio, Sun Moon Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy between you and the person you're connecting with or will be connecting with. We have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. And then we also have wedding, and then we also have soulmate. So when keep an open mind comes out, this is kind of like a little bit of a heads up, fair warning that there could very well be somebody entering your life, Scorpio, that's very different from what you're accustomed to dealing with. But I do kind of feel like it's a very positive experience that you could very well have with this person in particular. However, you might struggle when it comes down to like fully adapting to this entire situation here between you and this person because all of this is going to be extremely foreign to you. The way that this person treats you, the way that they talk to you, it's going to be very different from what you're accustomed to dealing with, okay? So let's see ultimately why you're getting these cards and how it's going to resonate with your reading for today. But we're going to focus on you first, Scorpio, and then we'll jump over to your person. Still keep in mind though, you might find yourself resonating more so with the person to the right of me than you do with the person to the left of me. And sometimes that actually happens. So just kind of pick and choose who you resonate more so with. Also keep in mind that time is fluid. So for some of you, you're going to find yourself currently experiencing this. And well, for others of you, you might even find yourself experiencing this at a later date. So just keep that in mind. But let's focus on you first, Scorpio, and then we'll jump over to your person. How does Scorpio currently view this relationship? We have the Four of Pentacles, we also have the Two of Swords, and then we also have the Eight of Cups. All right, let's look at your person. For some of you, you could very well be connecting with a Capricorn, possibly a Libra, maybe even a Pisces, or you might even have that within your chart. How does this person currently view this relationship? We have the Hermit, we have the Tower, and then we also have the Nine of Cups. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the... Uh, Five of Pentacles, we also have the Death card, okay? And then we have the Ace of Cups to the Eight of Wands to the Nine of Wands. I really wanna focus on this person first. Based off of the cards that you're getting and the cards that they're getting, that's kind of making me essentially feel like you guys don't necessarily know one another just yet. So you guys haven't crossed paths with one another, but like I said, for some of you, you could have already experienced this and I'm just kind of recapping on something that you've already experienced. And for others of you, you just haven't experienced this just yet. But let's focus on this person first and then I'll jump over to you. When it comes down to how this person's currently viewing this relationship, relationship with you I gotta be honest I don't necessarily feel like this has really anything to do with you this has everything to do with them and where they currently find themselves at in life I do feel like for the most part this person's kind of stepping forward with this overall energy of them essentially feeling like they're not ready for anything serious. So I do feel like for the most part, because this person feels like they're not ready for anything serious or because they, they essentially believe that they're not ready for love right now. And it does have a lot to do with like, past experience that they've had that causes them to believe that they're not ready for love or they're just simply not capable of it but more of the story is is that because of a specific experience that they went through it is causing them to believe that they're not ready for love um, or they're just simply not capable of you know achieving you know a meaningful connection with someone due to past experiences that they obviously had prior to you coming along because I do feel like things are going to drastically change here not only for you but also for them so with the five of pentacles to the death card to the ace of cups that's kind of like the epitome of putting love on the back burner um, not putting time and energy towards building towards anything meaningful with anyone for the reasons why I already mentioned now with the hermit to the tower to the nine of cups being out here I feel like this person is taking this tower moment that they're experiencing on their end whether this tower is basically representing a breakup a divorce whatever have you it is kind of forcing them in a way to take a break from love and kind of focus a little bit more so on themselves versus building towards anything meaningful with absolutely anyone. They're actually taking time to build a meaningful connection with themselves um, and to get back to a place of feeling good about themselves because I feel like past experiences that they have with other people um, have really, really brought this person down to the point where now, you know, they're in this overall energy of basically feeling like they're either not capable of doing whatever it is that they need to do on their end to, you know, keep a relationship intact and afloat or it has everything to do with the fact that they've been hurt so many times and let down so many times that they just don't see the point in putting time and energy towards something that's just going to bring them down or disappoint them or let them down in the end. So that's kind of what this person over here is experiencing on their end. Keep in mind that 
This could even be a Virgo that's heading in your direction, possibly even another Scorpio, maybe even a Pisces, okay? Now, when it comes down to you, okay, we have the Four of Pentacles, we also have the Two of Swords, and then we also have the Eight of Cups. This is kind of like an overall energy of somebody who just is choosing currently at the moment to kind of keep to themselves, not necessarily put themselves out there to build towards anything meaningful with absolutely anyone. And I kind of feel like the two of you are very similar in that aspect to the point where you guys are not really taking time out to focus on love right now. If anything, you guys are really taking time out to focus more so on yourselves. You guys are both putting love on the back burner. I kind of feel like when it comes down to you, specifically you, there is like a major lack of interest when it comes down to pursuing any sort of emotional connection with absolutely anyone okay and it does have a lot to do with just the overall experiences that you've had with people it has caused you to essentially feel like maybe it's time that you just take this time to really focus on you and kind of put love on the back burner but things are going to drastically change for the both of you um so it's something that the both of you would have to essentially prepare yourselves for because i'm getting two people here that could care less about love that can care less about building towards something meaningful with someone but i feel like like the fact that they're showing up in your reading is kind of telling me that that's not going to essentially be the case for much longer, especially for you, especially for this person. So let's let's keep going. Let's see how this story uh, transpires here between you and this person. How does Scorpio feel? <clears throat> we have the Page of Wands. We also have the Judgment card. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune. Here we go. Then we have the Six of Wands, and then we have the King of Cups. Whoever this King of Cups is, I do kind of feel like it's that fairly new person uh, that I was already kind of describing here. Somehow, some way, Scorpio, you're going to end up crossing paths with this person. One thing I actually do like about this person in particular is that they're coming across as a King of Cups. King of Cups is somebody who, for the most part, is not afraid to express how they feel. This is not going to be that type of individual that's going to leave you wondering, in other words, how they feel about you. No, this is somebody who's not afraid to express how they feel, but is, this is also somebody who loves hard which is something that I really do like about this person. But when this person does essentially enter your life, I do see you taking a lot of interest in this person. And that could have a lot to do with the simple fact that this person is going to have a lot that you're basically looking for within a person. But with the six of wands attached to this person, I feel like this person in particular is going to stick out to you like a sore thumb to the point where you are going to want to get to know this person. You are going to find yourself uh, becoming extremely interested in this person with the page of wands coming out here for you. And then we have the judgment card to the wheel of fortune. So I really want to focus on the judgment card. You are making that conscious decision to let this person in your life. And the moment that you do that, that's when things are going to drastically change here for you, especially with the Wheel of Fortune. Things are going to drastically change here for you. I mean, we got two majors out here. Things are going to drastically change. And it's all going to drastically change the moment that you make that conscious decision to let this person in your life. So things are going to drastically change here for you. But I feel like they're going to basically change for the better. You. How does this person currently feel? Yep. What did I say? We have the Three of Cups. We also have the uh, Ace of Wands. And then we also have the Two of Wands. Okay. So when it comes down to how this person is currently feeling about this relationship, for some of you, you might meet this person online. For others of you, you might meet this person just out and about. But Moral of the story is, is that you guys are going to end up crossing paths with one another somehow, some way. And I do see this person taking a lot of interest in you. That's one thing that I will say. This person feels um, that that chemistry and that spark here between you and them, which initially is going to cause this person to want to basically get to know you more with the two of wands being out here. Um... I gotta be honest, I wanna focus on this two of wands because I feel like the moment that this person cross paths with you, the more that they spend time with you, the more they get to know you, the more likely they're gonna wanna take things a step further. I mean, we're going from the ace to the two of wands, which I do kind of feel like that's basically what's insinuating here. So let's get into that. Tell me more about the two of wands. I feel like that's basically, like I said, I feel like that two of wands is basically representing them 
essentially wanting to take things a step further with you. So they're not going to keep this relationship between you and them in the friend zone. They're not going to keep it as a friends with benefits sort of situation. They're not going to do that. And again, it has a lot to do with the fact that the more this person gets to know you, the more they're going to start to really, really like you, the more they're going to want to start to pursue something more meaningful with you. So I am more about the two of wands. All right, nothing wanted to come out. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Knight of Cups. We also have the Six of Pentacles. Bam. With the Seven of Cups. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles. Very nice. I feel like you, this is you, to be completely honest. Queen of Pentacles is somebody who for the most part, um, is doing very well for themselves, especially financially speaking. A lot of you could very well be career oriented. Um, but more of the story is, is that you definitely got it going on. And that's how this person's basically looking at you with the seven of cups to the queen of pentacles. It's kind of like the epitome of like, oh my God, where has this person been all my life? You know, to them, you're basically perfect for them, but it has a lot to do with the fact that the more this person gets to know you, the more this person's going to be come fond of you the more they're going to want to take things a step further with you so that's one thing that i really really do like as far as like how things are unfolding here between you and this person but i can kind of feel it and i don't know who it's coming from but i kind of feel like it's got it's going to start to become a little bit of a rough ride for someone and I, i'm not sure if it's coming from you or if it's coming from them but Again, it's just I see things unfolding so beautifully here between you and this person. It doesn't feel forced by any means, but I feel like things are going to get rocky for someone. I could just kind of feel it, to be completely honest. But yeah, this person, for the most part, is going to basically feel like, oh my God, like, where have you been all my life? You know, there's a lot of things that this person likes about you, to be completely honest. They also view you as a genuinely good person, which is something that they really do like about you. Um, and they also love the fact that, you know, you're very, very independent. You're doing very well for yourself. Uh, you also, Queen of Pentacles is also somebody who's known for, you know, being extremely independent, but also kind of having that overall energy of like, I don't need anybody, you know, like I got life, not, I wouldn't say life figured out, but I feel like you do a very, very good job at figuring your life out and walking a path that's beneficial for you because I feel like that's exactly what you guys are doing walking a path that's beneficial for you investing all of your time and energy into things that are ultimately going to bring that growth and going to bring that expansion into your life I just feel like you're somebody who definitely has their head on straight more of the story <laughs> all right now let's see what ends up happening what actions We have the Three of Cups, we have the Queen of Pentacles, and then we also have the Four of Wands. Mm -hmm. This is nice. I like it. What actions? Okay. Yeah. So I kind of knew that this would happen because I was kind of feeling it, to be completely honest, um, coming from someone. It's not coming from you, though. It is coming from this person because I was kind of feeling that. Um, with the Moon to the Seven of Swords to the empress to the ace of pentacles this is kind of like an overall energy of somebody who is starting to essentially feel like um like they may not be good enough for you and it does have a lot to do with the simple fact that you know this person might even have a lot of insecurities within themselves to cause them to essentially feel like they may not be good enough for you um, I also kind of feel like this person might start to kind of feel like uh, this this situation is starting to kind of feel a little bit too good to be true. Um, but it does kind of have a lot to do with the fact that you do have a lot that this person is basically looking for within a person. Um, and I was already kind of saying that in the very beginning of the reading. Everything that this person is experiencing on their end does kind of require them to, for one, be extremely patient with themselves. And on top of that, just take things day by day because you're very foreign to this person. This person's not accustomed to dealing with people like you. So the fact that this person is basically stumbling across somebody who has everything that they essentially are looking for within a person, I think that it's pretty natural for us to kind of question it just a little bit. And that's basically what this person is going to essentially do. They're going to kind of question it just a little bit. With the Page of Cups to the Three of Wands to the Devil being out here, I really do see this person for the most part wanting a future with you, but I also kind of feel like at the same, that at the same exact time, this person is going to kind of find themselves struggling when it comes down to like, 
officially taking that next step and just taking that leap of faith to be completely honest and i feel pretty confident that they will that's kind of besides the point this this fear that they're experiencing the well what if i'm not good enough for scorpio all of that's going to basically dissipate and it, there's going to come a point in time where this person is not going to want to miss out on this opportunity with you because again this person is looking at you like you're perfect for crying out loud now they're looking at you like an empress which is kind of telling me that again the more this person gets to know you the more they basically start to find themselves falling for you and the more they start to come to terms with the fact that oh my god like they're perfect like i wouldn't change a thing about them the empress is basically all of the queens in one that to me is basically like the total package. You can't get no better than the Empress, just like you can't get any better than uh, the Emperor. So with all of that being said, you know, it's gonna basically click for this person. It's gonna end up registering within this person's brain that regardless of the what if this happens, what if that happens, what if I'm not good enough for Scorpio, all of that's gonna dissipate because missing out on this opportunity with you is just not something that they, they want to go through slash experience. So I do see them eventually taking a chance on you. And I do think I do see that things are going to start to get more serious here between you and this person. I just kind of feel like it is going to happen very quickly. That's one thing that I will say. So that could also be kind of contributing to, you know, this person as far as what they're feeling on their end. Like, what if this is a little bit too good to be true? And I don't know, can I fully trust this? And are they a little bit too good to be true? Like, all of that stuff that they're experiencing on their end, um, it, it could very well be intensifying for this person because of how quickly things are growing here between you and them. I mean, we're basically jumping from the Ace of Wands to the Four of Wands very, very quickly here, uh, which is basically kind of telling me that the moment that you guys cross paths with one another, you guys are going to feel an instant connection. That's besides the point here. But it's going to reach that point where things are going to start to get very serious between you and this person. So that's the only thing um, that's going to really kind of contribute to this person's anxiety um, and this person's fears when it comes down to actually taking that step further with you. But I'm not really worried about it because I feel like there's going to come a point in time where they're going to come to terms with the fact that this is an opportunity that they don't basically want to miss out on. And I see them eventually going for it. So just keep that in mind that this relationship, it's going to grow pretty rapidly here between the two of you. I also kind of see it starting to become a little bit of a struggle here for this person in particular, for the reasons why I already mentioned. But outside of that, you guys are going to be good. You guys are going to be good. Now, with let go of control issues and worth waiting for, I kind of feel like this is mainly acting as an advice card uh, for this person to the right of me. Granted, this person doesn't necessarily know what the future has in store when it comes down to you. They don't know if they can fully trust this entire situation here between you and them, but this whole entire situation does kind of require them to have a little bit of faith and basically give in to this connection without having, you know, this overall energy attached to them of constantly questioning things along the way, um, constantly allowing their fears and their anxieties and their insecurities to get the best of them when it comes down to this opportunity that they could very well have with you because it's not one of those situations where you don't necessarily want to be with this person you do want to be with this person you can totally see yourself taking things a step further with this person in particular but these are just things that you know they're gonna have to overcome to be completely honest if in all actuality they really do want something meaningful with you and eventually i do kind of see them breaking free from their doubts their reservations their fears their anxiety their insecurities and going after this opportunity with you but like like I said, this advice is mainly for the person to the right of me to just kind of take things day by day. Try to just, you know, go with the flow and see where life takes the both of you. Try not to consume your mind with the what if this happens, what if that happens, what if this is too good to be true and allowing the fears and the anxiety to take over because it's just going to further more cloud this person's judgment um, and just scare the hell out of this person at the end of the day. And that's not going to really benefit the relationship in itself by having a mentality, mentality like that, if I can talk this morning. But yeah. So that's what I have. Uh, hopefully this reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. Also, too, for those of you who want to follow me on Instagram, it is linked in the description box down below. But yeah, hopefully the reading helped. I'm not worried about this relationship, to be completely honest. I think that the both of you are heading in the right direction. I just think moving forward, 
uh, Scorpio, things are going to get very rocky for this person. Um, and they might even express that to you with the Page of Cups being out here. So you might need to just be that person to essentially guide them and help them along the way, you know, as they're kind of experiencing this overall energy of like doubt. Because that's basically what it is. It's like an overall energy of doubt, whether it's because they're doubting you or they're doubting themselves on whether or not they're, they're capable of being that person that you basically need them to be. But these are things that this person's going to overcome. I'm not even worried about it. Um, so moving forward, it kind of looks like things are going to start to really balance itself out within this relationship between you and this person. Things are going to really start to settle down on top of that. So yeah, that's what I have for you, Scorpio. Hopefully the reading helped and I'll see you guys in your next reading. Bye.